Hey everybody, Rick Stone here. About to begin day nine on the Ribbon River Trail. I'm at Giant City State Park in one of the cabins. I'm actually in cabin one, uh, right next to the lodge, waiting for the lodge to open this morning so I can have breakfast. I had three square meals yesterday, and I ended my, my vlog abruptly yesterday. Uh, my friend Brittany and her daughter Rowan came, and we hung out and climbed the tower and ate and talked, and she provided some trail magic, and that was awesome. Um, definitely today I'm going to head down into Makanda, and then I'm going to hike maybe 15 minutes out of the way and check out the Trillium Trail, which is part of Giant City, but Giant City is pretty giant, so it takes a minute to get there, and it's actually closer to Makanda than it is to here. So, uh, my ultimate goal tonight is to make it to the Cedar Lake Spillway, where I stayed on my last, last night of the through hike with Ryan last year, so, day nine. Bye, cabin. Time to leave the cabin. There's the lodge. Turning left to leave the cabins to get back on the trail. I had an awesome breakfast. It's almost 9.30. Late start, but I don't have that many miles today. Yeah, the lodge is behind me. The river to river is back this way, just on the other side of these cabins. Alright, 37 miles to Grand Tower, and there's the trail, I came out of there yesterday, I'm headed that way, and there's the cabins on the other side is the lodge, it's that easy to go get a nice place to stay for a night, get cleaned up, take a shower, use an actual toilet, uh, get some good food, there's a bar, observation tower, all kinds of things to do at Giant City, but nothing but all these roller coasters, up and down, up and down. Roller coaster of doom. Roller coaster. And ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, you kind of lose your mind a little when you're on the trail. All right, Albert Lane. Took like 25, 30 minutes to get here. I'm going slower on the hills because of the knee. Ugh. Obviously, you can see I'm pretty happy, and this hike's been really spontaneous, you know. I only planned to get, besides the Airbnb, to get an early start from Elizabethtown the first day. I had originally only planned to get a hotel one night, maybe around halfway through. That didn't pan out. I did what I did, wanted to do, and it made it peaceful. Don't overplan your hikes. I mean, plan them. Be smart. Be responsible. Research, research, research. But don't overplan. Woohoo! I think this is Shiloh Road. Finally made my way out of Giant City. I remember Ryan and I last year walked all the way around Giant City on that road and passed by here. Road walk, part 300. They did. My Kanda. PB&J's, 
PB and J's and a country store. The rainmaker, all kinds of things in the back. In the sculpture garden out back of the boardwalk. It's like a castle. A lot of people hang out here. My can is pretty awesome. I talked to so many different cool people. Pam helped me pick out a new necklace, little pendant there from the PB&J store and the store next door. I bought some things and I went to the general store. I had coffee. Oh, there's that place that took my soda last year. But last year, I did make a promise I was gonna come back and go in their store and buy something after they hooked us up with sodas and I did. I go that way. Ugh, I already am not looking forward to this hell getting out of Macanda. <sighs> Whoo! Lord! Whoo! Leaving Macanda is a. Lord! Man! That was a lot of work. Road walking again. Map 22. Tonight's gonna be my last night setting up camp, and you know tomorrow I have that 25 mile push to through Alto Pass, Godwin Trail, uh, Inspiration Point, Grand Tower. But my first day was 25 miles, so start with 25, end with 25. First road crossing after Macanda.
Why, Trail? Why you do me like this? Coming up on 51. I spy with my little eye. This is a rare luxury on the river to river. Thank you. So 51's up there. 51. Look out for cars. They fly by. Gotta go to this road here. And go that way. And hook a left. I love my new little necklace here. Pam from PB&J store helped pick it out. She put a cord on it for me. They make a lot of their own arts and crafts and sell them there in Macanda. So definitely check it out. You know, people in the art community, which I think equals hiking community. Missy Gypsy. All right. Macanda and Giant City that way. Smiley Face Tower. Just gotta go left. Macanda Road. I keep having people drive by and waving and cheering me on and honking and waving. It's so cool to get that motivation, especially when you're solo hiking. Hiker, hiker fangirl moment. Oh my God, it's so cute. Left on McGuire. All right, left on Rowan Road. Go down this road here and it takes you to the Lurley Trailhead going into Cedar Lake. Coming up on Lurley Trailhead, I've only got 29.1 miles left of the River to River Trail. We got about four miles from the Lurley Trailhead to the spillway where I'm camping for the night. So it leaves me at 25 miles tomorrow. It's about 2.30 now. I've been taking it easy today, going a little slower, taking my time, whatever. Trying to drag this trip out as long as I can. I don't want to go back home. Huh, these steps are new, I think. And the Cedar Lake. Especially with my knee. So glad I can take it slower today and I have time. So many switchbacks and roller coasters and oh lord. But I'm getting there. And I think this is Mill Creek. And it's pretty deep. I don't feel like dealing with it right now. So I'm taking my log walks here. I do suggest not trying this unless you're, you know, experienced hiker like myself. Ooh, I'm a big bad hiker. You know what I mean. I've done it a long time. I have good balance. Just be careful. There's a lot of pricklers trying to grab you over here. And a lot of this is just like a dam. So your foot will pierce through. Just, you know, kind of take your time. Go up. Oh, them pricklers were trying to get me. And there's like stuff to grab onto, kind of. All right. I've managed to hobble my way on a map 23. God. There's only five or six max maps left. Oh. oh thank God for trash cans. Woo. All right. It's not even a like almost a quarter after four. I'm so glad I didn't do that Trillium Trail. I'm not even at the spillway yet. Lord. I can see Cedar Lake. Not the spillway yet though. I'm slipping and sliding all over this mud. Cedar Lake. Almost to my favorite campsite. My last campsite of my hike. I made it. Shit. Oh, that really sucks. Damn it. Mm. 
I'm back. Well, I guess I can't have it all. <sighs> I like my privacy and seclusion. It's my last night, so I'm just going to continue on and hopefully find camp. All I remember from last year on the way to Alto Pass is a bunch of roller coasters and switchbacks, so I'll find something. Getting out of here. <sighs> They're not even there. Enjoy my favorite spot on my last night. I'm at 132 something miles into the trail right now, so tomorrow leaves me with 25. That that would have meant that I would have had my first day at 25 miles and my last day at 25 miles. But whoever's not camping at that campsite is taking the campsite, so whatever. Slippery! Ah! Keep slipping everywhere. All that stuff, they're not even hiking the river to river. I know it's Friday night, I was worried about it on the way there. Ugh. So disappointing though. Tomorrow's my last day. Tonight's my last night. I don't remember seeing many campsites between here and Alto Pass. On the plus side, I only have four cigarettes left and Alto Pass is like three miles ahead. <laughs> Literally just got done complaining. I can hear the spillway over there. And I saw this. Nice ring for fire. Sticks. Plenty of leaves out there. The ground's flat-ish over here for my tent. There's a log to sit on. I'm good. And I have a view. I'm so happy. It's such a relief. I was so sad when I saw that my favorite spot on the river to river, you know, next to the spillway was taken. But you know what? Actually, I like this one better. It's a little further away from the water, so I won't have to get up to use the restroom 500 times. Uh, it's a little bit on a slope, but it's fine. It's a nice view. And I also don't have to cross the spillway in the morning. But yeah, nice fireplace, as usual. I can't seem to get the fire going correctly, ever. <laughs> But yeah, day nine was a mission success. Tomorrow I've got 25 miles to Alto Pass. <sighs> the River to River is such a crazy trail. And people wanting to hike like the AT like me or anything like that. It is a good starter trail. Make sure it's something you want to do. You know, it's shorter. Uh, you know, it's going to take me 10 days by the time I finish tomorrow. But it took me 13 last year. It's 157.7 miles. So it's a good start. Definitely uh, check it out. Stay lit. <sighs> it's kind of weird how my phone has almost a full signal, but I still don't have signal. Interesting. Well, I, got, I ate I ate some uh, breakfast skillet from Mountain House and kind of hung out. There's, the people over by the spillway are kind of loud and the dog keeps barking. It's really kind of annoying. It's my last night on the trail and I wanted to enjoy it. But it's full moon, baby. Or it is tomorrow night, one of the two. But yeah, day nine, mission success. Hiked about 12, 13 miles, not too bad. Took it easy most of the day and then, you know, getting down here kind of kicked my, kicked my butt. 
So tomorrow I gotta go. Uh, a lot of roller coasters and switchbacks getting out of here to the road going into Alto Pass. And obviously I'll go there. I'll get a sandwich, maybe a couple sodas from the store, and take a little break. And then I'll be making my way up and start going into you know Bald Knob Wilderness, Godwin Godwin Trail, and onto Inspiration Point and Grand Tower. It's almost over. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Like and subscribe. I'm Rick Stone. Happy trails. Shut up.